All right, guys, this video is going to walk us through how to set up our Siemens HMI to work with our TA portal. So we're going to open up our TA portal here. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our base PLC program because we already know that that works and it already talks to our PLC. And we've done a number of projects with that. So let's open up that guy. So we're double left clicking or hitting the open button. Excellent. Okay. Once we're on uh, this page right here, what I want you to do is go to the bottom left-hand corner here. So we're going to go to the project view. So we already have this open, right? We've already set everything up. So let's go to the project view. Okay. Once you see this window, I want you to go over here to PLC1, open up this drop-down menu, and double left-click on device configuration. Okay. So what I want you to do is uh, tap on the image here. So click on the image and then go to properties and see how mine doesn't come up right away. Like there's, oh, there it is right there. If it didn't come up, then it's been minimized down to here. So you have to grab this right here, left click and pull it up so you can actually see the properties. Uh, what I want you to do is go over to Profinet interface and we're going to scroll down here. And if you haven't chosen this yet. So if you haven't used the router, uh, most of us are doing this at home. So we're going to make use of a router. Um, if you're doing this in school, you probably have uh, a switch that came with your PLC. So you have your actual uh, S7-1200, for example, then you have uh, an Ethernet switch, and then you have your HMI. So you'll need to follow the protocols that your teacher or, or the lab instructor has set up. Uh, but if you're doing this at home, then we're going to make use of a router to have the PLC talk to the PC and to the HMI. So we're going to click this user router. And you can see here that um, I have addressed my, my HMI as 192.168.0.10. It's just a number that I've always used for my PLC. Uh, you can use, you can number it whatever you wish, right? Just make sure that it matches with the IP of the router. M most default router IPs are 192.168.0.1. So you can see that everything's identical except for the final digit right here. So you can do this as .2, .3, Just make sure that you keep a list of exactly what IPs you've assigned to all of the different components in your circuit there. Okay, once you've done that, then I want you to come up here and go back to the, the PLC. Okay, you're gonna right click on the on the PLC, then you go down to download to device, and we're gonna download the hardware configuration. Okay, this is if this is if you haven't done the, the changes already to to use the router to talk to your PLC. Okay, it looks like it's already done the search. You may have to do a search for the PLC and then hit load. Okay, so all I have to do right now is just hit load. And sometimes there's a next image. Yeah, this one comes up next. Uh, you're going to select start all and then finish. Excellent. Okay, let's go back to the portal view now. Okay, you should see this screen now. What I want to do now is go to uh, devices and networks. And you can see right now that uh, we just have the PLC connected up right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new device. So we're going to left click on add a new device. Now my particular HMI is a is a four inch display. If you're at school, maybe you have a seven inch display, uh, but I have just the basic four inch. So hopefully we'll be able to do a number of cool projects on here. The only difference between them from what I can see is just the actual size and the number of uh, buttons that are on the button, bottom there. On the seven inch display, you have seven buttons, I believe, and I have four buttons on the bottom. Okay, so I my particular one is the KTP uh, 400 Basic. And the model number that I'm using is the 6AV2123. So this guy right here. Okay, once you have your particular model number chosen, and this will already say start device, device wizard, then click add. Okay, once you've gotten to this screen right here, this is your HMI device wizard. There's a number of things that we can do here for different options. Uh, we're not going to do any of the options on the HMI. We just want to make sure that we've downloaded our first program. So we're just going to hit finish here. Excellent. Okay, so this is your root screen. This is the first screen you should see on your HMI. We don't see that on the HMI right now because we haven't downloaded this yet, uh, but this is a good start. So what now that we've gotten here, if you don't see this right here, so say you're over, it brought you for some reason to this image, then down here below, you should have these little tabs here and you click on root screen to get there. 
Okay, next we're going to click on the tab to open the options for the HMI one. So we're going to, if this isn't open yet, we're going to open this guy up and we're going to double left click on device configuration. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, the actual, the actual HMI here and we're going to bring up the properties. Okay, so we can double left click or again, we can hit the properties here and we're going to scroll down here until we get to the IP address as well. Okay, so the IP address for this guy is 192.168.0. I often, for some reason, I've just uh, labeled my HMI always as .12. But again, you can have, because you have your PC, your PLC, your HMI, uh, and your router, right? So you can have four separate addresses. So you can have 0, 1, 2, 3, right? Um, it just, it's totally up to you. So we're going to make use of a router again. So we're going to click on this guy right here. And again, it's 192.168.0.1. Beautiful. Okay, once that's set, uh, we've already, that's basically configuring the IP for the HMI. We're gonna come back here, we're gonna um, right click on the HMI, and we're going to compile this guy. So we're gonna come over here and compile, and we're gonna hit hardware and rebuild all. This will take a little bit, oh, that was fast, okay. Thought that would take a little bit longer. So we have zero errors and zero warnings. So depending on the time, like that might be the first time you're doing this, it'll take a little bit of time. Okay, so, so far we have set up the IP address for our PLC and our HMI. Now we need to make sure that the IP on our actual computer is matching with those addresses there. So we're gonna go to the start menu here. We're gonna type in control panel. Okay, once you get to the control panel, you're gonna to go to network and internet. I'm using Windows 10 here. Okay, once you get to this image right here, then go to network and sharing center. Okay, and then you should see right here, uh, so you should for one have uh, an ethernet cable from your PC over to your router. And then from the router, I want you to go to both the PLC and the HMI. Okay, so you've got all those cables in place. You're going to right click on, sorry, left click on ethernet. That'll bring up our properties here. And we have to click right here for the properties. Okay, so those are just single clicks. We're gonna double left click on internet protocol version four, TCP IP version four. Okay, and often you have this already selected, obtain an IP address automatically. We're gonna use this one, use the following IP address. So we're gonna address that our computer is 192.168.0 and I've labeled mine as 0 0.2. Okay, subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and then the default gateway is our router 192.168.0.1. Okay, once you have all that, then I want you to hit okay and then hit okay again and then hit close. Beautiful, okay, so everything has an IP configuration now. So the next thing we need to do is we need to link the PLC and the HMI. So we're gonna come back over here to devices and networks. We're double left clicking on there. And you can see that I've already done this on a previous time just to make sure that works. Uh, but you're gonna have something like this where you have your PLC and your HMI. You can hover over here over this green ethernet port right here. I want you to hold the left mouse button down and drag it over until you see green here and let go of the mouse button. And that's it. Isn't that cool? That's that's already linked your PLC with your HMI. Okay, so everything should be set now. Okay, so again, you're, you're just left clicking on here, holding down the left mouse button, bring it over here, and that sets up the communication between the two devices. Okay, uh, what else do we need to do? We need to double left click on the device configuration for HMI. So we're gonna double left click over here. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna download because we haven't downloaded to the HMI yet. So we're gonna click on the image of the HMI because you'll notice that if I haven't clicked on it, I don't have the option to download. Okay, so we're gonna click on this guy and then click on download. Okay, if it asks you for the interface subnet, then you're gonna click here and do PNIE. Okay, and we're gonna start a search now and it's gonna find our HMI. Beautiful, it's found an accessible device, HMI 192.168.0.12. 
Okay, beautiful. So the next thing we can do is remember when we flashed the LED on the PLC just to make sure we were talking to it? We can do the same thing here for the HMI. So you can click on this flash LED and you should find that the screen, bring up a picture in picture here, the screen should be flashing now. Beautiful. Okay, so that means that we're talking to that guy. All right, let's stop messing around. Let's take that guy off. Should stop flashing now, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna select that HMI at 192.168.0.12, and we're gonna click load. Okay, when you see this window right here, overwrite if objects uh, object exists online, yes, we're gonna overwrite all, and then hit load once more. Beautiful, okay, so we've set everything up, guys. We now should have communication between uh, our PLC, and our HMI, you should now see this root screen here. So uh, let me bring up a picture in picture here. So you should see this root screen on your HMI now. We haven't put any push buttons or anything on there, uh, but we have set up the communication between everything, between our PC, our PLC, and our HMI now. Beautiful. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to, the last thing is I want you to save this now. Go up here to project, and then save as. Um, and what I want you to do is save it as uh, something like this, uh, PLC HMI router setup. And then we can call this pro project up anytime we wish, right? So I've already got, uh, it's already saved, so I'll leave mine here. Uh, but now we can bring up this program, same as our base program before for the PLC. Anytime that we have a PLC program that's now gonna incorporate our HMI, we're gonna bring up this base program, we're gonna save it as a different name, and then everything will be configured, our PC, our PLC, and our HMI. All right, guys, hopefully I didn't go through that uh, too fast. Um, there is a PDF below. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the, of the uh, video, but there is a PDF uh, below. So if I went a little bit too fast, then download the PDF, and you can follow that guy, and it should be a step-by-step -step PowerPoint on how to configure each of your different devices. All right, guys, thanks for your patience. We'll see you in the next video.